Welcome to another interesting episode of Tea Time where we'll bring you the biggest sentiment stories and definitely analyze them for you. My name is Elsie Godwin and I have my interesting co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Olu Washinke. Yo, what's good, guys? Hi. <laughs> I <eat> too. <laughs> Thank you. Can you do what you do so they can <laughs> see it? No. <clears throat> okay, so um, this one we. We had this conversation before, but we're not sure. And right now, it has happened. So, Davido and Bonner Boy features on Pop Smoke's posthumous album, Shoot for the Stars, Aim for the Moon. Um, I think that's a good one, right? It is. Have you listened to the songs? You ain't got to put your cup down. Eh, Which do you prefer? Eh, like, of course, the one with Bonner Boy. Yeah, I actually prefer that one mm. as well. And that song um, is actually a good song. I've been listening to it even before the deluxe album came out. Okay. When um, the real album came out, they replaced Bonner Boy with Carol G. Mm. Well, 50 Cent is executively producing this album mm. for um, Pop Smoke. So he said it was going to be a deluxe edition. So we all knew the hip hop ads, we all knew that obviously David O and Bonner Boy would be in the deluxe edition. Mm. But I didn't think Carol G, it's just my opinion, it's not because I'm Nigerian. I just feel like Bonner Boy did more justice to that particular mm. song than Carol G because Carol G sang in a native tongue, which there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, but it's not just a style of music. I love Carol G. I listen to it. So, what's the problem with it now that he sang with native? Oh, you don't I think it, you don't think you it relates that, more? That is not a problem. I so, what is the problem now? You've not oh, mentioned the problem. Yeah, wow, okay, oh, yeah, better. get to the problem. Come. No, I'm not calm, oh, but get mm, to the problem. Calm, keep no, calm, man. Today's no, not calm. No. I'm wearing red, so you should know. Oh, wow. So, so you're get wearing red, you get to the point. Fiery and feisty and all of that. But that's not the issue. The issue now is Karaji. So I don't have a problem with the fact that she sang in a native tongue, which is, if you listen properly, you would have discovered that I said that. Um, yeah, or you would have realized that I also said that um, it's not a style of music, that particular one. It's good to diversify, but you know, a Bonna boy came in with this vibe, you know, that got us all moving and stuff like that. Yeah, that was what we needed on that song. But I think when it got to Karaji's part, it just made me like, okay. Mm. Mm. That wasn't what I wanted. Have you got I didn't want to drop my cup. Do you understand? But Karaji made me put my cup down and be like, okay, when the music starts, I'll pick it up again. I was thinking about a red cup here or your tea time cup. Mm? Which cup? You ain't gotta put your cup there. Right. Drink freely. Literally. Yeah. Um, yeah, the vibe was cool. I really like the whole idea of the posthumous um, album. I mm. think it kind of helps keep the person alive. And I think he just he left too early when we're just getting the gist of who he was and I mean to the public sphere, I know he's been underdog for a while, but like, you know, Pop Smoke was just having his year when he was gone and everything. So this is nice. I like the spin on the music, yes. It's not really my style of music, unfortunately. Yeah. So I wouldn't like, oh yeah, let's play, repeat, repeat. That's why you had to allow him mm. enjoy his life. Do you yeah. want to say more? You ain't got to <laughs> put your cup down. <laughs> it's not my type of music, but I think for those who appreciate that type of stuff, it was well crafted. I can, yeah. I can imagine that people Love who it. like that they enjoyed appreciate it. it. Yeah, yeah, so good as the... Okay. Good but trust me, it's your style of, of music. It just depends on where you are. I don't think you can tell me my style of music is. Well. I'm not telling you what style of music is, but you know it depends on where you are. If I try to impose right? a style on you, no, no, but you know it depends much. on where you are, right? Where? There's a place where you don't want to put your cup down. You just have to raise that cup, and you're just in that vibe and in that mood. And then the next day is not your style of music, but depending on where you are, you feel me, right? Mm -hmm. I feel you. I feel Maybe me. that sounded more like depending on what influence you're on, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, moving on. That can be said. You're, you're not. Braxton you're not. You're not far from the truth. It's said to be alert and responsive, and thankfully, following her possible suicide attempt, the source tells media that she's. I'm now awake and alert and is being transferred to a new hospital facility where she can receive more specialized mental health treatment. I'm happy for her. That she's alive here? Yes. Mm -hmm. I wonder how, I mean, everyone who has been open about their journeys, if they have survived suicide, or have always said they regretted it. So mm -hmm. I'm hoping that's the same for her and that she wants to actually live. Well, I think majority, I cannot speak for everybody, but... I, I hope majority um, wants her alive and stuff. So, I mean, I hope she has a reason and she's seen that it's not... I don't know. I just hope she has some insight. that it's not so yeah, bad. Yeah, and that we want her to There'll be There will always here. be light at the end of the tunnel. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. 
Big shout out to her for this um, big step of um, getting a life back because it's not everyone who's attempted suicide that makes it out alive. So the fact that you made it alive is that you have a second chance at being better, at being yourself and doing the right things. Um, some people see it as cow dice for you to take your life, but that's not the case. You don't know what everyone is going through for them to even contemplate not to even say take the action so we need to be empathetic when it comes to people trying to commit suicide and the fact that she made it out of that and she's still alive right now is a testimony and i think it's just a, a sign that this is a second chance you can do better you can no matter what the obstacle is you can overcome it and this one is going out to everyone i don't know what you're going through i don't know what your depressions are i don't know what your illnesses are but whatever it is just know that you can overcome it and there's always a second chance and a time for you to be better Okay, um, I mean, I think you said it all. If uh, you you just be my mouthpiece for today, but no, um, I I believe the show is going to switch up when we come back after this break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I just see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? <laughs> <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do everybody feeling all right. Minimal mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back to City Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Madonna was slapped with $1 million fine in Russia for publicly supporting LGBTQ. Um, sharing a clip from the concert in 2012 and revealing the fine, she wrote, and I quote, I made this speech at a concert in St. Petersburg eight years ago. I was fined a million dollars by the government for supporting the gay community. The part that I love most is when she said, <laughs> I never paid for it. <laughs> yeah, so that's just it. Um, one thing that just showed me is the hypocritical nature of a lot of countries and a lot of leadership because um, homosexuality is kind of legal over there, right? They support it, but they still punish you. <laughs> if, uh, yes. If this was Nigeria, I would tell you, is that our culture? Do you know, no, no, is no, that no, our yes, way of life? It is legal there. We are in Russia. Yeah. Is it? It is not. Are you if sure? It is then. There won't be. No, no. It, I think that it has become. It hasn't. Maybe as at that time. It hasn't. It, it hasn't. Mm -mm. Are you sure about it this? It hasn't. Are you sure about this? Hmm. All right, cool. So if it's not, then maybe that's my bad. But if it has become legal, it just shows the hypoc hypocritical nature of a lot of um, countries when it comes to certain things. And I think they try to milk a lot of celebrities on a lot of things. LGBTQ community, yeah, it is against your culture and all that, yes. But she's coming from America where it's legal. But coming to another country, obviously, it's wrong. But I understand where she's coming I, from. I prefer it if you were calling the hypocrisy based on... I don't really care what your culture is or what your religion is. If you call a gay person to come and perform, like, what are you expecting? I think that's where the hypocrisy lies. You mm. want Lady Gaga to come, but you don't want her True. sexuality to come with her. Like, Lady Gaga has been the epitome of, like, the face of LGBT community since day one, since paparazzi from 2000 and what? So why did she go? Or something. No, she invited her, she went. She doesn't yeah, have mean, a problem. Like, I, I, I get yeah, I, I she's not the one who I has a problem thinking, with um, I wasn't going. thinking from the part that she's even gay. I was going to look at it generally to say, um, regardless of what it, um, you're pushing for and what it is, if you're being invited somewhere, then maybe it will, it will be right for you to check what their laws are no, and but, but know what you're, you're doing. You're, but then, she is gay, were, right? Mm, exactly. And she went there. What would it, would it be too much to say, you know what, because you are not... Um, 
taking care of my people, let me put it that way, I'm not interested in coming to perform in your country. Don't you think that would have been a that's stronger... The opposite, no, that's the opposite thing, because then you're giving into the fact that they can't have their, their own idol come and, um, what's it called, perform for them. So bear in mind that that doesn't favor the person who's so trying to push she the arrested, agenda. Person, she will become well, Jesus well, Christ for mm, them. That's, I, mean, that, I don't think you can... Made, I guess. Yeah, I don't think you can arrest somebody for that. But I like <laughs> that they went... She didn't go, the, uh, the um, Russian government did not invite her, the people invited her. She's going to go for that, and she's going to preach to the people who want her. I don't know anyone who listens to, um, um, what's her name, Lady Gaga as a big fan and doesn't... Madonna. Sorry, Madonna as a big fan and doesn't come with the support of LGBT community and everything. So if that's the case, then obviously she's going to use opportunities to preach to the audience that are actually gay. So it's, I, I think it's the other way around when... They who are, are saying that they don't that. want that, they should not allow such a thing in their countries. I mean, here in Nigeria, we've been having conversations about not allowing into our into our TV screens and like singing on air. Mm. So that's fine. But if you then say, okay, no, I want your money, I want all the, I want everything that comes with you, but I don't want you to talk about your sexuality, yes. it's not gonna yeah, happen. That's weird. Shoulda. Mm -mm. Shoulda. Okay, so uh, moving on to the next one. If you're going to delete a birthday or congratulatory message because the person did not respond, it means you did not wish them well. And a birthday or congratulatory message was for your ego and not because you really care. And this is an opinion from media personality Usis Wave. I think it's a bit too sim simplistic for me. Um, a lot of the times, you, it's too simple because... It would be unfair to deny that sometimes we don't know if a message has been conveyed except it's been except there's a feedback. So if I feel if I've done it out of my good intentions to genuinely wish you well, and I've seen that you've seen it or you've you, you it's clear that you've seen it somehow, but you don't respond to it, then maybe I sometimes I could feel like I'm, maybe I'm out of bounds and we were not as cool as you wanted. So let me just back off and not celebrate you if you don't mm. want to be celebrated. So for me, it's a bit too... Or oh, don't want to be celebrated by me. Exactly. Mm. So I think it's too simplistic. And me, I use that as a serious uh, indication for me. If I'm going to give you a vibe, if I'm going to hype you, if I'm going to... I expect that you address that. Even if you're not going to do it back to me, say, oh, yes, girl, or like it, or whatever. If you don't do that, I'll, me, I'll back off. Yeah, I think there's always... There's everybody, regardless of how you want to claim that you're so much mm. or whatever, we want a level of reciprocation. And from what he said, I would also say it could come out to look vague because as far as I'm concerned, it depends on the platform. So mm. if I'm reaching out to you on a WhatsApp, I mean, mm. it means that we, myself being on your WhatsApp or even remembering that it is your birthday or whatever it is, I'm wanting to congratulate you. It's supposed to be something personal. I know WhatsApp is becoming commercial now, but I still want to hope that we would try to keep that personal contact that comes with whatsapp so if i am sending you a happy birthday message or whatsapp or congratulatory message i think it would be nice to respond to that but if it's on twitter or facebook i mean there, there are people who are swamped with messages and you know they can't really respond then that way yes you can leave it and hope that one day they get to see it or you can say i wish you well on your own right but if it's on personal notes then i don't see any reason why anyone should not respond to such messages I, I don't know, that's my personal... Um, For me to send somebody a congratulatory message on um, WhatsApp or any other platform is because we're cool, but let's even focus on WhatsApp to be precise. Um, I'm not one to believe in pettiness, so I really do not care if you respond. It is for my own mental health. It is for my own... To wish somebody else's happy birthday. No, 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 listen now. Can you guys just calm down and let me get to my conclusion before you jump in? So, yes, yeah, right? So, um, <laughs> it is for my own mental health. It is for my own joy for your achievements. Mm. It is for my own happiness, genuine happiness for you. So, you reciprocating is none of my business. I'm mm -hmm. really, in, 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 in some cases in life, you don't know what each and every one. You know, sometimes I actually see people's messages and I'm like, Okay, I reply. Then somebody speaks to me and immediately I'm distracted and I cannot reply that message. It doesn't mean that I did not have the good intention of replying that message, but it's yeah. there. And then I see it three days later and I'm like, it's too late anyways. There are other messages. Oh, and wow. I know that. Wait, After relax you now. How you should respond. No, 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 no. I'm just saying that. And I know that this is somebody that I would probably still speak to and I'll probably acknowledge that. Ah, Baba, no vex. So no, say I don't see that your message or board, you know, stuff came up. And and depending on the level of understanding, so I'm not the type that I would now go and delete it, especially when I did it from a good place. 
So, like what this guy said, unless you did not mean it. So, in the really, first place. when he brought in the delete part into this conversation, it's clear that it is not WhatsApp because even if it's WhatsApp, it, it takes That's how right. many You know, when I started, I did not just say delete. WhatsApp. Hold I said, on, let me, I was getting to platform. your point, not your own point. Yeah. I'm talking about what he is saying. So, the fact that he has talked about deleting it means that we're talking about a broader platform yeah. or that he is talking about a bigger platform like Instagram or and Twitter. Um, Twitter. So, mm -hmm. I don't think it makes sense for anyone to wish someone happy birthday or congratulations one and then expect that the person must reply and um, if not you go back to delete it it doesn't really make sense because mm. why did you do it in the first place it's a congratulatory message and if there's one thing i know about social media they try to celebrate your wins so that means that even if you are getting two comments or three comments in your normal post once it's something to celebrate you're going to get that times a hundred exactly. or two hundred and how many people have got that time to actually respond to everybody sometimes i go back to my post and respond like after three days and i do it sometimes when i respond i'm like i oh, see what are you doing after three days but i feel like well i have the time and i think i can reciprocate this gesture for people but not everyone will be able to do that or not everyone will think it's still necessary to do that after three days on such platforms so um i don't think it makes sense to delete a congratulatory exactly. message on public platforms but when it comes back to personal now spaces your text messages phone calls whatsapp i, I think, think it happened. is People are swarmed it's, work. it's just decent to do that mm. there was a time i got um a, a credit alert from somebody right i did not notice until like 10 days later wow the person sent me and i was like which people with calm down and I was like, I had to call her. I, had, I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, Auntie. I didn't see this, but I'm just seeing it right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm acknowledging that call. Do you understand? But in her mind, if she was a bitter person, she'd be like, I even sent money to this one. He did not even call me. How do you know she didn't do that? She wasn't upset. Uh, How do you know she wasn't okay, upset? From the conversation. No, that's a personal reaction, but she didn't react that way towards you. Of course, because that's you have to do that now. A lot of people would not respond like, in but, front of you. But like when that. she told me, she said, I understand. I know you get a lot of messages. And all uh, that. She said it. Yeah, it's, so okay. Okay. It's, it's okay. She it's said okay. it. But what about those ones where a lot of celebrities do that on each of us birthdays? They will upload the picture and everything, and then after a while, they'll take that picture down. And you don't want to do crowd. Down is different now. You don't want, you to, want crowd to crowd your, your space page, with yeah. people's pictures. Mm. People's pictures. Yeah. Down, down is understandable. Mm -hmm. You see, for I me, that's that. weird vibes. I wouldn't put up your picture on my timeline if I thought you were crowding. Uh, my before your birthday next year, I've deleted it. Which one will I now post next year? So next year, every year, I'll be posting your picture. What is, what is, what is that? Okay, let's just move on real quick. <laughs> the major role of women in society is to bear and raise children. It is not to pursue career or struggle to be wealthy. A woman who neglects um, this natural role may turn out unhappy. And this is coming from humanist Wukurobia. Wukurobia, she can't sit down a big. Can people for just me, shut up? For me, I agree with his first line. When he said the major role. <laughs> Let me finish. I agree right mm. but that is not the only rule because if women decide to say we are not going to reproduce the one children again nobody can do it that is something that i accept well yes they are doing i saw a man pregnant the other day mm. and stuff like that medical and health people are doing a lot of things to create some things and all that but away from all that and pretending that all that is not existing or we, we are going to get to a point before all that can mature women are the only gender that can actually reproduce for this humanity Easy. Goodness. for this humanity and this time that we are in right now yes yeah? so yes that is the major um role of a woman but is that the only role of a woman of course the not. major it's not the only role. role and the fact that that is a role does not mean that you must jump into that shoes and say you want to do it that's the way i look at it and also you can also decide to play this major role which is a blessing as far as i'm concerned and also pursue wealth and do any other thing so my problem is when you decide to now cage them and say oh if you don't do it then you turn out unhappy and all that so his message i think it, it has a lot of layers and it just it's just everywhere for me as uh, much as the this, major this role in response to the person that talks about a woman on, uh, with an attitude on her period is mm -hmm. the same message i have for this person if you're not a woman stop talking you can't about yeah it. stop talking about it we don't you don't see women saying do you know that when a man wakes up and he has morning glory and we he doesn't kill we don't talk men. about it that's true we don't we, you barely see women giving confident 
confidence. <laughs> I don't know. Confident honestly. opinions what about things that they don't comment. call. Oh, that, that's is that what, what you guys call it? You see, we're not even good with the terminologies. The point is, we stay in our lanes. Mm -hmm. You, on the other hand, Morning, glory. you come inside oh, and give an opinion, a, 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 a very fundamental and heavy opinion about something you know. You know about. nothing about. You can't tell a woman what's going to make her happy or what's going to make her unhappy. Thank you very Full much. Stop. So what are um, we... If the person wants to give birth, they can do that. If the person if don't want doesn't to. want to give birth, they can do that. It's also the same thing if they can and they don't want to. It's also the same thing if they can't and they want to. Either way, allow the woman to choose what she wants to be. She wants to chase wealth. She wants to raise the family. She wants to give birth but not raise them. There's different options. Mm. And we don't want a box. We don't want any box. Each woman would decide what she wants to do with her life. Mm -hmm. And then she'll decide how happy she wants to be. Okay, so my message is for all the women out there. Any man that doesn't want to listen, you can just do this. You feel me? Yeah. But if you want to listen, you can as well. I'm just listen. tired of men trying to tell women things, but go ahead. You, yeah. can, as, you can as well just listen. Mm -hmm. But I think the message is basically for women. The purpose of every woman is to achieve her dreams and a destiny. And if your dream and your destiny is to be with a child or well and good, if it's to be without a child or well and good, if it's to be with a man or well and good, if it's to be without a man or well and good, if it's to marry or well and good, if it's not to marry, but just be <laughs> happy. And don't let a man tell you otherwise. I think it's something grandly different, but sure. What? We get it. We, we, I understand. I should know. tell you something grandly different. And, and it's fine. I understand. To be happy. Mm -hmm. Go on. Choose your choice. Focus on your focus. <laughs> and even to some women that do not want to listen, you can as well just do this as well. <laughs> but just be happy. Basically. I feel like that statement could have been addressed to men as well, but let me know. I mean, it's just for anybody. But for this man in question, I think he... He, he's trying to sound woke and mm. to hide his Picture backwardness, mm. you know, but it's not working because no, he's, he's coming out from left, right, center yeah. and all that. So, man, we'll be happy whether you are happy or not. And I, mm. I don't know what his personal space yeah. is going to be. And, and the level of support he'll be able to give to women around him. That's what I was going to say. And I hope that this conversation that has had is encouraging women who are under that type of pressure. I mean, I mean it would be very naive for me to sit here and act like women are not under pressure because they're not doing, quote unquote, the major role. Mm -hmm. I really think it's nonsense. And I hope that they have a support system that can create a reality for them that proves that it's actually not that deep yeah. um, and remove themselves from spaces that are over-exaggerated in the matter it's a blessing yes but there's a lot of blessings that not everybody's participating and in it, if so we have to go right. if we have to go by the biblical rule as well the bible did not say women go into the world and multiply he said we bible should said. all go in he did not specify the gender okay. i wish you had more so time both male and female so it's easy your job to also multiply as a man so it's not a woman's role uh -uh. it is our role that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And please do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 09065719 or Twitter at us at Plus TV Africa. Also catch up on this conversation and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Do watch Tea Time on R2 TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you would go to my interesting co-anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Shanke and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay safe. Thank you.